Hey guys, it's Libby here from LA3D and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own 3D printing filament in a little different way than what you'd think. So, let's get started. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please, please hit a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy this video. I have a lot more printing, um, 3D printing videos on my channel and a lot more creative videos also. So if you enjoy this, please uh, subscribe and help me out grow my channel. Alright, so okay. starting off, um, I found this really cool design on Thingiverse from a guy named Turbo Sunshine. Um, he designed a um, 3D printable sample filament, which I think is a very, very smart idea because with this you can um, 3D print your own filament and then print with that filament um, to make custom colors. So to give you a little bit more insight of what that means, um, so basically it prints out normal um, in a little spool, uh, little test sample size I guess you'd say. And I'll put a couple pictures of what, uh, what I'm talking about. Um, but it prints and then you can change colors mid print and then you come out with filament looking like this. And I just put it on a spool, um, you don't have to, I just thought it would be easier. Um, but then once you print with once you print with that, your filament or your print comes out really really unique, and it just I think it turns out really awesome and something really cool and I will definitely be doing a lot more in to just make custom colors um, and a lots of cool things like this one I used my um, PLA plus um, it was like a silky blue and then some yellow um, uh, Isle Robotics yellow and then this one was um, Sane Smarts. Uh, silky pinkish color um, and then again with the blue PLA plus um, I just these colors are unique and one cool thing um, the owner of this design actually talks about he did make a video on it um, and he said that it is really cool you can just leave your print or your filament like this with two different colors or however many colors you made or you can reprint the spool or, or reprint the sample filament with that filament so that you don't um, so that you're, when you print with that filament again, it's kind of confusing, um, it will already be mixed instead of turning out like this. So this is with straight off the printer um, filament that's multicolor, which is this stuff, but if I printed a new spool or a new sample filament with this and already mix it together and printed another one of these, they would look totally different um, just because of how the filament is. And this is really, really cool to me, and um, I hope to do a lot more things with um, this filament and maybe make bigger spools and join the filament together. Um, I'm actually going to show you guys how to um, join filament together a super easy way in another video in the future. Uh, so then that will help also with doing multiple spools of this filament and then maybe getting up to half a kilogram or 750 grams of your own 3D printed filament, um, which I think is really cool. It definitely inspired me to do a lot more projects. Um, if you guys know or if you guys follow me on my Instagram or my Twitter, I've posted a lot about these little prints and um, been teasing really uh, what they are and um, now I'm finally showing you guys how to do it. So let's go into the slicer. I'll show you guys quick my setup real quick and then um, we can print another spool. So first, before we do anything, I just want to give a shout out to uh, Turbo Sunshine for designing this um, really cool design uh, for the filament, um, printable filament. I think it is really cool and uh, definitely a big shout out to him. So let's just go into where we downloaded our um, printable filament. And it comes in multiple uh, things. And as you can kind of see, um, he has different uh, parts so this is the seven gram one if you just want to test it out real quick but I usually print um, the 30 gram one and then these two are two different ones um, which are just bigger spools but other than that these are just their normal the normal uh, design so let's go into um, I use simplify 3d and I'm gonna use the 30 gram one and I will show you guys my setup so I actually printed the original size this uh, is a normal 100% um, but unfortunately when I printed that it did not work it did not fit in my Bowden tube I believe I went down to 98% um, scale just so that it is big enough but not too small to actually fit into the Bowden tube so this is on my um, Tebow flash and that's the printer I like to use just because 
I can switch my filament very easily on there. So what I like to do for the settings is do 100% and then also go for my layers and I like to do perimeters like up to 10 just so that is completely solid and it is not poor quality at all. Um, and then that's really all it that all I have to do. No support obviously and um, just make sure that your uh, extrusion multiplier is calculated in, dialed in, so that um, they don't stick together when they're printed. The size of this is 1.72, which is as close as we can get to 1.75, uh, and nothing um, changes. But when you print with this actual um, filament, you want to change your extrusion multiplier or your flow on your 3D printer up about 50%, just so that you don't get any um, bad... Uh, bad gaps in your prints just so they look nice and that's how I got the nice looking quality on those um, 3D fills that I printed. So as you can see here's a couple um, examples of the filaments that I printed. Uh, they were printed really easily and um, I actually choose to uh, self pause my printer instead of actually putting it into the program just so I can choose where and when I want different colors. But here is the one that I just recently printed. It was with some extra or uh, leftover um, orange filament and then I just put red on top of it and as you can see it's super easy that comes off the printer um, and then I just go around like this and some of them uh, some of the the parts on here might stick together so you might have to as you can see up here um, that just means that my bed was a little bit farther away from the nozzle than anywhere else um, or it was a little too close as you can see they stuck but they're really easy to um, unstick and then as you can see over here here's the orange so I'll unstick everything and then um, I'll show you guys a couple prints. Alright so I just printed these two with um, this spool that I made and as you can see um, they do look really red and that is because I ran out of the orange and there isn't a lot of orange in this um, but there's a slight difference between both of these. Now the right one um, it is a little bit more orange, but it also, as you can see, it has multiple gaps, and that is because I did not amp up the flow with it. Um, so, and then the left one has 160% flow, and it is definitely different, as you can see, because, again, the gaps down here, um, and then up here also, and on the top. Now, as you can see, there was a little bit here, and that is because um, the filament did get a little bit stuck, so uh, that is not... Um, a flow issue but with this filament there is always a risk of having a little bit of gap uh, so I guess bump the flow up to maybe 180 to make sure you have a nicer print but other than that these are the prints and um, I think they look really cool um, and then again these are the other two prints that I printed with the other filament Alright guys, so that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I think 3D printing your own filament is really cool and I will definitely have a lot of unique um, characters or unique um, different designs now on my channel because of this cool filament. I might actually even create my own color filament known for my channel. Um, but other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something new. If you have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. I try to get back to you as soon as possible um, and usually I comment back on everybody's. Um, so please let me know if you have anything uh, down below in the comments. Again, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.